Now for something very important and that would be network languages. Uh, there are multiple languages. Some of them devices never use, but we only give them to the devices. We speak to the devices in these languages. Others are used internally between them. Let's think right now uh, when we talk about devices like routers and switches, leave all the other devices because all of them are the same equally. But let's take one of them as an example, a router or a switch, a node generally. Um, these devices can do something very smart and they are built to do it by default and that would be they can work as translators and interpreters just like those smart guys that goes with a diplomatic um, people into a conference so they can speak multiple languages they will never like tell speak with you in a different language but they can understand it so you speak to them with your native language they will always say mm, okay and mm, okay they understand they will understand you and they will translate whatever you said to the uh, other person uh, president in the conference etc so the idea is the same here Devices understand multiple languages. They use only one or two type of these languages internally between them for internal communication, uh, for internal programmability and operations between device and another, like a router and a switch, switch and a computer, router and a computer, firewall, etc. But when they speak back to you, perhaps they will only show one of these languages, the one that you understand. So what they use between them, so that will be the most common language, will be the binary language. This one you will not use. This one will be between the devices. The binary language and the word binary refers to, to something that is made of two elements only. So like um, binary, yeah, it's English. So this is not another language to translate it. It's only in Engl an English course. So the word binary should uh, describe that correctly. So the word binary language is a language that has only two digits. It's entirely it was entirely built based on two digits only either or zero and one and that's it uh, it's as simple as i mentioned in the previous videos of the cabling when you have an electric cable they will send uh, a copper cable they will send a one zero a one 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 zero zero one zero one zero ones ones all the way and a couple of zeros in that way or for fiber optics then they will say a high frequency of light expressing the ones and a low frequency light expressing the zeros or laser and this is what happens so i did mention before yes ones and zeros many times because that is the only language multiple devices the devices will use between them either internally inside the component of a device or I'm sorry, or uh, between device and another. So everything is binary. Every single digit equals only one bit size of size. So when you send like a one, a zero like that and a one and another zero and a three ones and a zero, zero, one, zero, one, zero and all ones. This means that all of these are a bit, a bit, a bit even if it was a zero, the size is a bit. We did express a zero digit by sending a bit, but we did express a zero. This does not mean that when you have something like number what, let me tell you, like if you wanted to express um, uh, number 10 in the binary, uh, I will have a video for that. Yeah, I don't want to be, uh, I don't want to ruin the end of the movie for you. But the idea is that all of that has a volume, has a size, this entire um, word or a number that I sent through the cable has a complete size whether it was containing ones and zeros or a mix of ones and zeros together. Zeros are low electric pulse, low frequency light wave uh, and the ones are the opposite. Ooh, ones. I'm sorry. Once I need to correct that. Okay, once. The once is in that way, not once at once or immediate or uh, yeah, not in that uh, not in that uh, way, of course. Once. So once are the opposite, like a high electric pulse, a high frequency light wave. This is what I meant by ones and zeros, ones and zeros. So that is the first language, and that is one is used only internally. Um, you will not type it. You will never take the cable. Cables are far away, I'm sorry for that, but I have a ton of cable. You will never take a cable and do that. 
like do that in that way like you are using this horse um, cable or something to express ones and zeros ones and zeros and you keep do that in the, your hand you will not do that to the cable itself do that to the cable so that the cable will send ones and zeros to the other device and the other device will record multiple ones and zeros refer to a number 45 okay i will write 45 it was never in that way not even on another plan no so the idea is that is that you will never use the binary language this will be done only by the devices they will create it by themselves they will translate your orders your questions your config your modifications your oper operations your whatever they will translate it from whatever you typed in whatever input you gave to the output internally of ones and zeros the binary language so what will you use you will use decimal language or hexa but you'll use mainly the decimal language this is a 10 digits language these 10 digits starts from number zero to number nine so yes definitely zero one two three four five six seven eight and nine i have these 10 digits to express what i want to tell the device i want to tell the device to type the value of 200 so i type 200 i can do it in that way i want the device to send something that equals the value of 45 i type 45 because i have the four i have the five and i can type it in that way and that is as simple as that but when i type it to 45 well the device immediately will never see that it will automatically be translated to binary and the device will see a binary language referring to the value of 45 this is the idea so uh, the values inside a device will vary between 0 and 255 because the maximum value that you can give using the decimal language inside a device is 255 you might be wondering well why uh, because of the relation between the binary language that was built on number 2 and uh, 0, 1 and this that was the power of 2 in mathematics to the power of, of 2 uh, and these uh, maximum yeah they were in that time uh, these uh, values so the range and you might think that it's a bit complicated but we will have 4 or 5 uh videos regarding languages and tra translating so you will understand you will master that uh, believe me in this chapter in this very chapter one but the idea is when you read this thing when you read the decimal language and you start working with their values you will find the maximum values most of the time varying between 0 and 255 only there is no number 10 when you read number 10 this is one and zero and this is how we use it but we can type 10 to refer to 10 the device will translate that i'm talking about the digits so the digits are only from 0 to 9 and if after 9 you'll start to combine multiple decimal digits so that you'll express your number like 10 11 50 etc uh, this is for human because of ease of use that's it and there is another one because because that was as the maximum at the maximum of 255 the decimal language ends so we need more values and we will see why would we need more values in the upcoming video so there was the hexa decimal language not just decimal but the hexa decimal decimal refers to the 10th and hexa decimal refers to the 16th language so they added that 16th language so instead of having only 10 digits in the decimal language they had to add some extra digits extra six digits to make it 16th and these were not 10 of course because 10 is one and zero combined so they had to uh, borrow some letters from the English language so had they had to borrow a b c d e and f and that's it now we have the hexadecimal language so again we will start from now on uh, the lowest language in the hexadecimal language will be zero and then one two three four five six seven eight nine and after nine if i wanted to express something that has the value of 10 in the hexadecimal i cannot so i will type a referring to 10 b referring to 11 c referring to 12 until i reach f that refers to 16 and we will start using their combination now when i end this video you will never never seriously not just because we are in 2020 or 2021 you will never use these to build something from scratch so don't think that you have to be the magic the master or the wizard of languages at all but the upcoming four or five videos will really make you a master at subnetting at addressing and that's it this is what you need 
from now till like 10 or 15 years or even 20 years of your career believe me this is what you will need so again the hexadecimal language is of 16 digit because they added that zero is the lowest and f is the biggest and that's it we are done but let me tell you something most of whom of those who watch this videos or this series of ccna most of them not all of them are fresh engineers either they have just graduated of, from high school um college of course mostly uh one two three four thank you uh or uh, no education at all because cisco doesn't care and companies doesn't care about what education you have you have ccna you know how to work on networks go get it that's it this is well, well this was really a big relief like i have so far around five or five plus years of experience um with networking and my bachelor degree has nothing related to that it's not nothing related to that cisco teaches you everything and the proof is that they even talk about languages so why i'm mentioning that again because uh let me tell you in the interviews yes most of the world who watch this video these videos are fresh and they're fresh after they finish the ccna might go to an interview so just a simple tip before i end this video because we are done today is that they might ask you in the interview what do you think about the decimal uh, value of 260 like we had an ip address that was 1.1.260.1 and they want your answer so your smart answer should be this makes no sense because these values of the 32-bit IPv4 address that will have five videos to express should add, should end at 255, not even 256. So that would be how smart you are. They will show you a hexadecimal language example, and in that they will insert an H, an I, an M, and they expect you to say it's a hexadecimal uh, value. You should say this is something that you took from a biology book this has nothing related to networking or computer engineering because if it was a hexadecimal it should end at f if it was a decimal it should end at nine and the combination should end at 255 depends on the ip address that we are using or the address that we are using this is just a small tip that i wanted to tell you about this video before i end it and that's it it's done in the upcoming video we will talk about mac address then ipv4 then ipv6 after that this chapter will be really interesting so thank you